The Seven Star Samurai Terror event is now back in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over the best builds for you to solo this Pokemon with in your games. So this is the second time through for the Seven Star Samurai Raid. It will be running from the 7th of April until the 9th of April. We've already covered all of the details in our previous videos, but the Samurai, just for you, if you're coming into this new, it will be level 100. It will have its hidden ability. The moves it will have are Aqua Cutter, Mega Horn, Night Slash, Drill Run, Focus Energy, Swords Dance and Bulldoze. So from this move set, you know that it's going to be setting up the focus energy and hitting critical hits quite regularly throughout this raid, something that you're going to have to be aware of. It is going to have the bug terror type only catchable once per save file and it will give you good item drops. So even if you have caught this already in your game, it's worth farming this raid over and over and over again for the high cost items that you get. You're going to get lots of bug terror shards, lots of level up candies, proteins, ability patches are in there and a high high cost items that you can sell for a good amount of money. So all in all, a very good item to keep going through and just doing over and over again. And we've got the builds for you in today's video to show you exactly how you can do this as easy and as quick as possible in your games. So to get the event in your game as it's live, go to your poker portal, then you want to come down to your mystery gifts and then check poker portal news. This will then give you the update for the event. The terrorids will appear in your game. And although the event does run from the 7th until the 9th of April, if you don't go online after the 9th of April, then you'll keep this event in your game for as long as you want until the next time you go online. So the builds that we're going to cover today are the most consistent ones that are going to make it very easy for you going into game. We've got a mixture of Pokemon that are going to be accessible for you if you've got Scarlet or Violet, and it's going to make things a lot easier for you going into these raids. Now, these are some Pokemon that we already have covered. If you're a Scarlet player, this is probably your best bet. It's going to be the Flame Breed Taurus, the Fighting and Fire type. We're going to have that Terra Fire type on there with the Shell Bell as the item. You're going to want the Ang point ability on there. The EV spread that we've got on here is going to be 252 in attack and 252 in defense. Then we want an adamant nature with that as well. So the stats should look something like this. I'll just move my camera out the way so you can see the stats and you can match them up. Although all of the builds will be down in the description if you want to take a closer look at any of them. The moveset that we're going for is Sunny Day, Tail Whip, Flare Blitz and Raging Bull. Flare Blitz is a bit null and void. We're never really going to be clicking that move first turn you go into the raid you're going to want to use that tail whip tail whip again if you aren't knocked out but you'll probably get knocked out after that first turn then the next turn you come onto the field you'll want to use that sunny day and then just spam raging bull until you can terrestrialize and then you're going to be able to beat the samurai very easy from that point like i say one of the quickest methods still my favorite i think out of everything that we've had so far so that is the Taurus. The next one up is going to be Annihilate. Now, Annihilate is going to be something that's available to everyone, all Scarlet and Violet players. You're going to be able to get this Pokemon in your games. You're going to want the Ghost Terra typing on there with the Shell Bell item as well. And then the moveset of Bulk Up, Screech, Drain Punch and Rage Fist. Really easy moveset to get. I think Drain Punch and Bulk Up are TM moves that you're going to have to go out and get around the region, but not difficult to find. You want that Defiant ability as well because the Bulldozer comes off from the Samurott will proc that Defiant ability. It'll drop your speed, but it will give you a plus two attack boost, which is super, super helpful. EV spread we've got is 252 HP, 252 attack. You don't really need the defense investment here with Annihilate, but it can help if you want to go with a similar EV spread to what we've got on the Taurus. And then, like I said, the Defiant ability and an Adamant Nature there as well. Turn one, you're going to go in, you're going to want to Screech. Turn two, you can Screech again if you want. They're not going to get rid of these drops until very very late on the raid so as soon as that shield goes up those drops that the samurai will take will stay in effect then bulk up and then just spam rage fist for the rest of the the battle it is as simple as that annihilate a very good pokemon you may faint a couple of times but the rage fist boosts do stay intact for the rest of the the terror raid and you can then just terrestrialize and you're going to be able to clean it out very very easily that is annihilate i would say probably just as good as the taurus if you don't have access to it if you're a violet player and you want something to go in and solo these pokemon with very easily it's a really solid option next one up is going to be the cloister one of my favorite ones from our pre-builds and we did feature it when the event went live i still think a very good pokemon for this it is a little bit slower than the annihilate and the taurus 
but a very consistent one at that. Loaded Dice is going to be the item of choice. Terror Typing is going to be Rock. And the ability is the big thing on this cloister. They're going to be that Shell Armor, which prevents any critical hits from landing. As we know, the Samurai are going to use that Focus Energy Turn 1. Going to be a bit of a crit machine for the rest of the match. But with the Shell Armor ability, you're going to avoid all of that. EV spread, 252 HP, 252 attack with an Adamant Nature. And the moveset is going to be Iron Defense, Shell Smash, Rock Blast, and Aqua Ring. Turn 1, you're going to want to go for the Aqua Ring. Then that sets you up with a bit of recovery for the rest of the Terror Raid. Then Iron Defense up three times if you can. Then Shell Smash up three times. And then you're going to just smash that Rock Blast. And the Rock Blast and multi-target attack with the Loaded Dice is going to give you the best opportunity for it hitting those five times because it can hit three to five times. So you want it to be hitting as many times as possible. Once the shield is broke on the Samurai, though, you're going to have an easy time clearing this one out. So Cloister, a very good option. And the final one that we're going to cover in today's video is actually courtesy of another fellow poker YouTuber YouTuber who is called Poker Whack. Uh, they were using Maraidon to very good success and I'm putting this in here because a lot of you Violet players who don't have access to probably the best Pokemon in the Taurus can have access to this Pokemon to do these raids with. Um, electric Terror typing on there, Life Orb is the option and we are going to go with a move set of Charge, Metal Sound, Parabot of Charge and Electro Drift. It's the same basic premise of the Annihilate, where you're gonna go for the Metal Sound turn one, uh, Metal Sound turn two, you might faint, and then you come back in, charge, and then Parabolic Charge. Parabolic Charge is gonna be the move that you spam for the rest of that raid. With those drops, you're gonna be hitting very hard with the Electric Train up there as well, and the Charge as well. Sting that damage as well, the initial turn after you use it. So a very reliable Pokemon, gonna be able to take the crits pretty easily. Electro Drift can be changed out for something like Reflect if you want but you don't necessarily need to there those top three moves are really all you need 252 HP 252 special attack with a modest nature is the spread on it and that is pretty much everything that you need for the Mariadon here and uh, life orb is the option and you can change the life orb out for something like a shell belt if you want additional recovery here but that is the four best Pokemon I think they cover both copies of the game for you to go in and beat this Samurott with over this coming weekend. Of course, it is a very good raid event just to take advantage of for those high cost item drops that it gives you every single raid when you complete it. And with these Pokemon, it's gonna make running through them very, very easily. So I hope you found today's video useful. A bit of a recap, we have featured the Annihilate as well that we hadn't really done very much on before, but these are gonna be your best Pokemon. As I say, all of the builds are gonna be down in the description for you as well if you wanna take a closer look at them. Have a great rest of your day, friends. Enjoy the raid event. I'm sure we're going to be getting a brand new seven star raid announced very soon for our next one. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think it will be. Take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye bye. <laughs>